Welcome to Snow Talks on Shore. I'm Albie Sol, and I'll be starting with the roundup of avalanche conditions from the interior and the Rocky Mountains. And wow, what a difference a few days of warm weather have made to the scary conditions we had last week. In the interior, we're already looking at low around tree line and below tree line, and just moderate in the Alpine. Coming further east, a little bit colder here in the east. So we're still seeing lots of considerable in the Alpine, but moderate tree line and below. You know, one of the tricks about going backcountry in the wintertime is to recognize when not to go, but also to recognize when to go. And certainly moderate conditions are a good time to get out and get some stuff done. But don't forget that because we get more aggressive in these conditions, we go to more adventurous places, we still get about 40% of avalanche fatalities in the moderate rating. So where should you not go during the moderate? What does moderate really mean? Well, what it means is you're not gonna see natural avalanches. There's lots of places you can go. You can ski steeper terrain, maybe more open terrain, but you need to take that moderate rating, take a look at the forecast, see where the problems exist in the snowpack and have the discipline to stay away from those problems. So if we look at what we see right now out there, we're seeing that, especially here in the Rockies, we still got some lingering concerns from the storm. So you're gonna be wanting to avoid the places where the wind is loaded in, so cross-loaded slopes, top-loaded slopes, and so on, and still that deep instability. So the problem with that instability, as I've said before, is not a great deal of chance that you're gonna trigger it, but if you do, the consequences are gonna be big. So you need to stay away from the places where you might trigger it. We're not worried about it falling down on top of us so much anymore, but now if you head into a big, open, steep slope, especially if it's got some thin spots around it, wind action going on, that's exactly the type of place where you can have a tragedy. And now, the tip of the week. Hi there, my name is Andrew Council. I'm IFMGA certified mountain guide. Uh, just talking about some of the extra equipment you want to have in your pack, aside from a beacon, a shovel, and probe. So I usually carry some kind of rescue shelter uh, a ski sled for dragging out an injured person in my party. A slope meter to actually measure the incline of the slopes I'm going to be skiing. I usually carry a map and compass as well to be able to measure the aspect I'm skiing and to see where I am. I always have a first aid kit, headlamp, some kind of communication, a radio cell phone to the outside world, extra layers, extra eyewear, and a small repair kit. That'll do it. Thanks for joining us on Snow Talks on Shore. And remember, check the latest avalanche forecast before you head out at avalanche.ca.